Let's go. I told niggas back in 2018, right? I was like, yo, Cardi B has the album of the year. Everybody was like, yo, this guy right here, this guy, Nipsey, had the album of the year. They said Pusha T had the album of the year. They said Astro World had they the did. album of the year. That, like, had the album of the year. What, what, what? They said Tana Talk 4 had the album yo, of the I, year. Yo, I hear what you're saying, yo. Come on, bro. Popularity and, and like, you're not going to say that she rapped better they than said, those Bo other They said A Boogie Hoodie Sons had the album of the year. I didn't know. I, that no, was Car never Cardi said. B, Invasion of Privacy, was the best album that came out that year. I said it since day one. Yo, ain't nothing touching that album, yo. I'm sorry, yo. It was the best album probably of that decade. I'm not going to lie to you. Outside of Good Kid, Mad City, we can argue. <laughs> yo, every song went platinum. Every single song off of there went platinum. The, song, the album is 10 times platinum. And it's only three years later. What do you have to do? I mean, like, she made good songs like that. Like, I don't... It's not, but it's not a rap album. Okay, like it's a rap. She raps, I like but saying KOD was better. The Book of Rhyme by fucking um, Royce the Five Nine was better. Yes, if you want to hear his like, lyrics, yo, what? all her songs. Are, if you want to party in club, yes, yeah, she made that. But Cardi B, like Cardi B, is a bigger star. Girl. Cardi B is probably one of the biggest stars that came out of the past ten years, oh, yo. No. Once I heard that album, yo, and what it's just like, yo, she had the Yes, the, that the, mean that solidified her the, as an the artist. Spanish features, the 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 rap. She had the the turn up. She had the um see I, you know who I am song, you feel me? The Yo, don't cheat on me, type song. Yo, she had all those songs on one album. You feel me? Yes, oh. yes, yes. Cardi B, yes. It's gonna be hard to top that again, Cardi. I mean, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but you gotta case to the point. Cardi B's celebrity is bigger than most of those people, than right. most artists. Like she, her celebrity is bigger than her. Like she's loved by everybody. Like you can't be a black man rapping loved by everybody. Like who don't like Cardi B? You know what I'm saying? True. Like, every race, every age, like, old women know Cardi B because she's outspoken. She like, she like, um... Young people like Cardi B because she talked that talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta like Cardi B. Whereas, though, when we talk about Nicki Minaj, I think Nicki Minaj alienates herself. I think if you are a fan of her, you like her, but if you don't, like, you have every reason not to. I still don't have, a, I don't know a reason not to like Cardi B. Um, Cardi B, nice show. I don't fuck with Cardi. She um, great album, great album. Yeah, Chicken Heads always, always go for me. That <laughs> it, it comes on all the time. That's my shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bacon Heads. Sorry, right, was it? Bacon Heads. Bacon yeah. Heads. Yeah, I like it. Um, I like, I like pretty much everything off that album. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, do you want to talk about the? That's the last topic that we got. The Megan Thee Stallion, her label owner is calling her alcoholic and all this. Um, she called her label owner a cokehead. It's probably. Just, you know who Barry Lawkins is? No, nah, dude. Barry Lawkins was the, uh, I think, the shortstop for the uh, St. Louis Sun Cardinals. For real? <laughs> yeah, he was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, that's, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was Barry Lockett was nice. Like he had his baseball cards and us. But okay. that's why that's where he got his money from. Okay. And then he started the music thing now and there. But um he was an investor in her and he feels as though that he's old money. Is that's Carl Crawford, Carl Crawford. Carl Crawford, Carl, yeah, Carl Crawford. So he feels as though he's old money because he invested in her yeah, yeah, yeah. and um they say he sold their contract to three hundred, yeah. who she's currently under. But uh one of her Mixtapes they counted as an album, so she thinks she's off. Yeah, well she, she but she like nah, two more you owe me some, yeah, because she put out two mixtapes and they said they count them as albums. What she thought, yeah, yeah, he just wanted his money. Carl Crawford just wanted his money, right, so it's getting it's been getting personal. Like they've already gone super personal, but like when niggas be mad, they they go petty. They definitely get just, like, uh, just like uh, when Tory Lanez like, got a little air where he was like, yo, I was fucking you and your friend. <laughs> you can't be mad at good dick. That nigga's crazy. That nigga, <laughs> yo, but what if that's the truth? Like, what if that is the truth, though? Like, nobody's ever going to say, yo, I was fucking you and your friend. Your friend got mad, so she shot you. You know what I'm saying? But the whole time, <clears throat> ain't nobody blaming Shorty. Ain't nobody. They just blaming Toy. Toy and Toy, like, yeah, I ain't do that shit. He ain't told you the truth. 
I feel like that's why he's so quiet right now. I mean, well, they about to go to trial like the fifth of April, <laughs> so like I, like I think he probably got they probably got in trouble for talking after that first hearing, yo. Yeah, facts. Because yeah. anything you put out in public can be used in court. Yeah. <clears throat> um, album of the week, we're gonna go with that Lotto seven seven seven, and we're gonna check out Lotto. And what's the buddy album called? We're gonna check that out. Oh. Music, baby. What's your name? What's your number? God damn, this Wi Fi crazy. Um, yo, song of the week. Let's get into song of the week. Yo, I got that 2 2 G's set is lit. That song is fucking hard. Nigga ran out of breath. He ran into death. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Since you listen to you. <laughs> He said my man ran out of breath and ran in the death. Holy Christ. Okay. Yo, buddy album is called Super Ghetto. Y'all definitely go check out that album too. You feel me? Super Ghetto is definitely tough. Um I'm checking out the Summer Walker. Her song, uh uh No Love. No please, Love by Summer so my... Walker. That's my favorite song off that album. With uh Sis and Cardi. This is the extended version. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I've been my R and B stuff, yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, check out uh, baby, no money. Baby, no money. Baby, no money. I don't know where he's from, but his video popped up. Like baby, no money, white boy. Okay, okay. Yo, have you ever checked out um Rick Ross Black Dollar mixtape? Yeah. Why? Wow. Wow. Uh, Black Dollar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, bro. Like that was on. Wow. That was when Ross was on his on his run. Wow. You know? <laughs> if y'all haven't checked that shit out, please go check it out. It's on SoundCloud. It's on that Piff. It's yo. Wow. I don't know how I came across my timeline. I came across my YouTube. I checked out one song. I checked out the whole album. You feel me? Definitely go check out that Rick Ross. Um, Black Dollar. You feel me?